Hello, welcome to PLSI Academy. Today we'll learn about exception handling. Along with that, we'll also revise the concepts which we had previously seen. We might also see some new concepts on the way, but we'll try to simplify everything as much as we can. So for today, to learn exception handling, we'll write a program wherein we perform two operations on numbers. So what we'll do is we'll write a program where the user will input whether he wants to perform average on the numbers or whether he want to perform a factorial of those numbers. So let's start. Let's print our first line where we will give the user choices from which he can choose what he wants to perform. So let's say we give the user this choose which operation you want to perform first and second so now we'll take an input from the user so let's declare a variable number for the input so here we enter the number choose operation now the number should always be taking integer inputs so let's declare this input as integer now if we run this code we get the output where it is prompting us to make a selection so here let's say if i input 1 or 2 it is fine but what if the input is less than 0 or what if the input is greater than 2 so for that we'll write an if condition in this code so let's add the if condition here so as we said like if the number is greater than 2 or less than 0 it should print that the number is not in range Now let's run the code. Now if we input any number which is not in the range of 1 and 2, let's say we input 4, it gives that the number is not in range. Now let's run the code again and say what if we do not enter any integer and we enter something else like let's say we enter that. It gives value error. So here what we'll do is we will use try and accept statements. So whenever an error occurs or exception as we call it, Python will normally stop and generate an error message. But these exceptions can be handled using the try statement. So basically the try blocks lets you test a block of code for errors. And the accept block lets you handle the error. So let's use the try and accept statement in the code. So we'll try the code. And we'll give an accept statement with the exact same uh, error. So this value error is case sensitive and it should be exactly same. Now let's run the code. So if the number is 1, we'll write a program where the average of the number will be found, average for. So let's print a statement where we uh, tell the users that they chose to calculate average of numbers and then in turn get how many numbers they want to calculate the average for now uh, the user has to enter the numbers so for that whenever the user will enter a number we'll see those number in the list one for that we need to run a for loop so let's write the code for it that for i in range of 0 to n n here will be the number of numbers which the users want to calculate the average for so we define value 
which is the integer input so we ask the user to enter the number and we will as the in user in the number will append it in the list one let's say for he wants to calculate for three numbers the average of three numbers so n he'll enter as three so the for loop will run to the range of 0 to 3. So here it will be fed as enter number 1, enter number 2, enter number 3. And this value will take the number which the user is entering. And then it will be appended in list 1 as the sum of list 1 divided by length of list 1. Now when we have the average we will just go and print this. So we will print average of the number is And let's run this code and check once. So here it says enter the number you choose. So we choose one. Then it's asking enter how many numbers you want to calculate average for. Let's say we take four. Enter number zero, one, and seven. The average of number comes out as four. Now we need to define the second block, first block where number is 1. We also need a second block where the number will be 2. So let's write another if statement where the number will be 2. So let's now uh, print that the uh, user has wanted to uh, choose the factorial operation and then we ask the user to input the number he wants to calculate the factorial for. Now we know that the factorial of 0 or the factorial of 1 is always 1 and if the factorial is of any number which is lesser than 0 we cannot be it cannot be calculated so and if only the factorial the number value is greater than 1 we can get a factorial for so let's define those three blocks here first block being that the factorial of 0 and the factorial of 1 is always 1 one then we print that the factorial of it is 1 this strn of n will take n will take 0 or 1 from the statement and will print it. So now the next statement, uh, the next if statement will be if the user is entering anything which is uh, less than 0. For that we define another sta if statement where n is less than 0 and then we print out that the number input it can't be lesser than 0. Now the third if statement will be where the number is greater than 1. We'll declare fact variable and assign it value 1. We'll declare value variable where uh, its assignment will be n. Now we'll use a while loop. So let's say while when n is greater than 1 that it is not 1 but greater than 1 until then the uh, program should execute the following uh, formula so the formula will be fact into uh, is equals to fact into the value and the value here will be getting reduced by 1 in every iteration of this while loop 
now now let's run this code and check for error so this is asking to choose operation first so we'll choose factorial operation 2 now it's asking what the number we want to choose uh, we want to calculate the factorial now we enter 4 but this is giving me two lines where factorial of 4 is 4 and factorial of 4 is 12 so there is an error uh, in our code so if we see a the print statement is inside the while loop so it is printing every time the loop is uh, in every iteration basically so what we'll do is we'll bring this print statement outside of the while loop uh, now we'll run the code again and uh, we'll do the test runs one ag once again now we calculate the factorial for 4 and the factorial of 4 is giving out 24 uh, which is correct to conclude today's video, we have written a program which includes exception handling, for loop, while loop, if else statement and mathematical calculations. I hope you have learnt and revised these concepts from this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Please do comment your queries and your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thank you.